Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to a new episode of Women's World and uh, we're delighted to be joined uh, live over the phone uh, today by Dr. Fatma Khafega. She's a governor of uh, Arab States Feminist uh, Network. Good afternoon, Dr. Khafega. Hello, good afternoon. Well, uh, how do you assess uh, the role of uh, women uh, in uh, the Egyptian society? As we've seen uh, women in uh, the political life in Egypt, she's taking a great role. Uh, she's achieving uh, very important positions in the ministry, uh, ministerial positions. Uh, she's uh, uh, achieved a great representation in the Egyptian parliament. Uh, so how do you assess the role of women in the Egyptian society and specifically in the in national debate uh, that it's ongoing these days um, okay I think there has been really a very good improvement in terms of women in Parliament because the number has increased a lot actually because of the gender quota that we had and, and many of the women parliamentarians now also raise gender issues uh, and this is I mean I think this is an improvement that one is very proud of Mm -hmm. uh, as far as the national dialogue, because I'm a member in the Board of Trustees, we are 25% um, of the members of the trustees who are 18 are women, uh, which is good. And, and also it gives us a chance actually to raise issues of women. And we are making sure, I mean, there is actually a pillar on, on the family. Uh, where women's issues are uh, are going to be very much discussed and many uh, legis uh, legislations are going to be recommended. But also we made sure that, uh, that gender issues are mainstream in all the pillars, in, in the political pillar, in the economic pillar, in all issues that are discussed. But where, where are the women here? How can we benefit women also? How can we actually uh, ask for policies and legislation that would really lead to gender equality. Right. Uh, well, also, uh, we've seen uh, women's participation in community service in Egypt. Uh, she's playing a great role in social work and community service. Uh, how do you assess uh, her role in this regard? And how do you assess the significance of community service uh, to the Egyptian society? Yeah, uh, well, Egyptian women have been always actually playing a very important role at the community level. But, I mean, I, I, I'm, unfortunately, one can say that this role is not very much recognized. We don't see them much. We don't see women uh, uh, actually, I mean, active at, at community level in villages, in satellite villages who are uh, in the media, who are in uh, maybe now in, in TV series and all this, we can see them, but yeah. they need to be actually recognized. Their work needs to be recognized. Um, women in Egypt work a lot, but they work mostly in the informal sector, mm -hmm. which is not recognized. Yeah. And we, we are very much calling for this and calling for this in the national debate. That you know, social protection should be there. Uh, women in in the informal sector uh, work should be recognised. Should be, uh, I mean, they should be provided with uh, health insurance, with pensions, and so on. Right. Uh, uh, in your opinion, what can be done uh, so that the uh, role of women in the informal sector uh, would be more recognised? What needs to be done? What are the main steps that uh, we should be uh, start working on? Well, the, uh, the optimal solution, but that would take time, actually, that the informal work turns into formal work and being recognized. But this takes lots of steps, actually. But for the time being, I mean, uh, women should be part of the uh, labor law. Mm -hmm. So women who are vendors in the, uh, on the street, agriculture, uh, women who work in agriculture, uh, women uh, immigrants, all these, you know, groups of women, uh, should be covered and should be recognized in the Egyptian labor law so that they could be covered by health insurance, they could also be covered by social protection and so on. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, uh, how do you see the main challenges uh, still facing women? I mean, women have achieved a lot of her rights so far, uh, not only in Egypt, but also worldwide. What do you think are the main challenges uh, still facing women, not only in Egypt, I'm talking in general? Uh, okay, in general, uh, still the problem of the gender-based violence. All countries of the world, I mean, including Egypt, including Sweden, including the U.S., women are really suffering 
from violence and different forms of, of violence, you know. Uh, but I want to say in Egypt in particular and in the Arab countries, we need very much a reform of the personal status law. Yeah. This is very important. And, and it's a first step actually for women to be, um, you know, much more active in economic life, in political life, in public life, if we actually, or if they enjoy of an equitable um, uh, family law, uh, that you know they, that really um, reserves their uh, dignity their equality and so on right well uh, dr fatma khafaga thank you very much for your insight and uh, it's a great pleasure talking to you and your viewers now we go to this report and we'll be right back The National Council for Women participated in the launching ceremony of the Egyptian Coalition for Equality initiative announced by a group of major private sector companies in cooperation with government agencies and civil society organizations. The initiative aims to empower women in the field of work and leadership with the aim of emphasizing the important and effective role that women play in the development of societies and providing them with necessary support in all fields with the participation of the leaders of the member of agencies of the coalition participating in the initiative. This comes in cooperation with the Ministry of Communications and Information Technology and the United Nations Women's Agency. The Council also participated in a panel of discussion which was included in the celebration on the role of women in all aspects of life at the social and economic levels. Mrs. Maya Morsi, Director General of Skills Development at the Council, reviewed the access of the National Strategy for Empowerment. Egyptian Women 2030 focusing on the access of economic empowerment and reviewed the Council's efforts in this field and within the National Project for the Development of the Egyptian Family. The initiative of the Egyptian Coalition for Equality comes in line with the objectives of the National Strategy for the Empowerment of Egyptian Women and in accordance with the goals of sustainable development and Egypt's vision 2030, aimed at empowering women economically and socially, improving their capabilities and refining their skills. It is planned that the initiative will launch the Egyptian Coalition for Equality Academy to provide the necessary training programs to improve and develop the capabilities and skills of women and girls in the field of work and society as a whole. The corporate members of the coalition held a number of meetings, workshops and studies to determine the desired goals of the initiative, the role of each partner in the initiative and the means of support required from the participating entities to enable the largest number of participating women. The alliance brings together for the first time many institutions, multinational companies and organizations concerned with women's issues which reflects the concentrated efforts of all governmental and private sectors and international bodies in Egypt to promote gender equality and empower women in the labor market and society to enhance their social and economic independence. Welcome back, dear viewers. That brings us to the end of this edition of Women's World. And now we'll leave you with the uh, last segment of the show, which is uh, Women and Style or Women and Fashion. Stay tuned.